What's up Capricorn and welcome to your career and money reading for June 2022. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Capricorn. It is of course a collective reading you guys. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You guys know the drill by now. Be sure to check your other signs for any additional messages that may be coming through for you. If you guys like my content, please like it. Share it. Hit that subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate it. We continue to grow. I cannot thank you enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. And if you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to see you again. As always, you guys, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can go ahead and do so on the website addressed below. And uh, you know what? Without further ado, let's get started because cards are popping here. So June. Whoa. Okay, let's go with these. Right off the hop, there's some things that need to close out, cycles that need to be closed out. Shit needs to be looked at, all right? Otherwise, here comes the tower and knocks it down for you at very inopportune times. <clears throat> Look, the tower wants to bring in movement, okay? With the eight of wands here. I just heard die a slow death. So whatever it is that you're not letting go of. Oh boy. This knight of swords. If you don't tweak whatever this is. If you don't finally release whatever it is that needs to be released here with the with the world card. In reverse. Man, that, that knight of swords is going to bring in this tower moment so hard. And it is not going to be swift. Like it's going to be... Whatever this is, is going to die a slow and painful death. And you will be made an example of. So let me tell you, <laughs> I would suggest using this month to figure out what the fuck that is so that this tower moment does not have to come in. All right. Look to the future here. What is it that you want? How is what you're doing now preventing you from getting to where you want to be? Because that's... This that block is what the tower is, okay? It's what's getting in your way. So you best believe, my friends, if you don't figure it out, the universe is going to point it out to you and it's going to be unpleasant. You're still going to get to where you want to be. It's just going to be the harder road, right? So it's up to you, really. It's time to start looking. Four of Cups in reverse. It's time to see what's right in front of you. That, you know, you've been ignoring looking at this. And the universe is like, okay, let's, let's, <laughs> let's shift your focus here. This needs to be addressed at now. Knight of Swords. Time to take action, okay? We're not pussing, pussyfooting around here. It's time, it's time, it's time to take action. Uh, this is not the time to be defensive. This is not the time to, you know, test the universe because, again, that's going to work out very poorly for you. So figure it out. It's not going to be hard for you to, when you, when you buckle down, take the action and do it, you're going to be able to figure it out quite quickly. Okay? It's going to be fine. It's just where you're like in denial and going to the universe, oh yeah, I'll show you. No, the universe will show you, okay? It's not gonna end well. So that's why you are going to take care of it this month so the universe doesn't have to get involved, right? So <laughs> we want the universe to get involved in the positive way where it starts bringing you career, money, and abundance. Um, take a hard look at your partnerships. Some of you, yeah. Are you fighting with business partners? Is there a lack of creative vision? Um, are some of you working with your spouses and it's not going well? There needs to be priorities here. Some of you are just going to, um, I feel like some of you have to, to punt a long-term collaborator um, that just aren't working with you right now. So that's beautiful. Um, now, I say that's beautiful. It's going to be difficult, but it's better than them betraying you, taking all your money and running, right? That's an example. 
it's an example. Don't fucking take that literally. That could be an option for some of you, but not all of you. Like, relax, okay? Um, that wasn't a scare tactic. It was an example. Very realistic one, however. Okay, so look, don't fight that gut where, hey, I don't think this partnership's working. Maybe it can be something as simple as there needs to be a little bit of communication. Where do we see things going from here? And that's fine, okay? But don't assume... Don't bury your head in the sand, right? It's time to look at what you're not looking at. It's time to see what you're not seeing. Yeah, because I feel like you guys kind of feel like you're stuck. Things aren't moving. You're kind of in that lack mentality like, oh, I should be bringing in more money or, oh, I should be happier where I am or I thought X, Y, Z was going to bring me this and it's not. It means it's not aligned. Okay, there's some misalignment here. Maybe it's with the person, um, like a business partner or the clientele that you're trying to reach. Maybe it's just you're fighting your own intuition. Maybe it's there's something that you need to just change. You know, like if there's an offering or something that people just aren't buying, switch it. Like toss it, start from scratch, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Long term, what do you want? and get rid of everything that's not leading you towards where you wanna be, okay? So just take a minute, evaluate, okay? Just evaluate because things are not coming in. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you're gonna get more lack the longer you stay in this energy, the longer you don't evaluate what needs to be evaluated. And then let's be honest, that's not sustainable. So if you don't do anything, well, boom, here comes the tower. So consider this a warning, my friends. I wouldn't let it get that far if I were you. All you have to do is trust yourself, trust that intuition, and just, again, look to the future and deconstruct until you get to where you are now and understand where you need to go next. Okay, and just don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid to make the big changes that you need to make. And if that's cutting people loose, well, then it cuts people loose. You know, it, it really is as simple as that. But shit needs to change. Alignment needs to be restored and you'll be good to go. Okay, so evaluate the misalignment and take some action, okay? Thank you so, so much for watching Capricorn. I really do appreciate it. You've got this. You're not that far off. Just fucking trust it. You're golden, all right? We'll talk very, very soon on the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.